open greet takes you and you get caught on the video. <laughs> yes! All right. Cut the camera! Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're just joining me, my name is Tira and this is Nyam and Chat. It's Friday. Happy Friday to everyone. I hope everyone's safe. I hope everyone was COVID free this week. If you weren't, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, I'm not laughing at COVID. COVID is real. Um, but yeah. So today we are, well, I had a whole thing planned. Let me just tell you. So I had a whole thing planned that I was going to do child support and what it's like and what you should do and if that's something you need to do, in my opinion, and my take on child support. I was excited. I was ready to go. Then I went on that blasted IG. Um, the Shade Room posted posted uh, Toy Lanes and Meg The Stallion's shenanigans. And I was like, yeah, so it's a Mixy Fridays kind of night. I guess so. So today I did fried foods, all fried foods. So my arteries will be clogged. Um, I'm going to have to take a washout tea because there's just no way. But yeah, fried foods. So I did pub fare kind of. Yeah, pub fare. Except I put fried plantain chips. So, or fried plantain so this is my food for today i have some jumbo shrimp sidebar if your shrimp are this big please don't invite me to your house i take it as a disrespect thank you some um scallops some chicken wings so these ones are spice dusted i made my own spice mix and then i dusted the my, the, my wings with them and then these ones are buffalo wings which i made my own buffalo sauce these are my fried plantains that I smashed. My food is getting really cold. And um, potato wedges. Green pepper that you probably won't see me eat. Hot stickers. And um, I'll never throw these away. Wing tips. Oh, I have some ranch dressing on this side and I have some hot sauce on this side. I also have a beer. Let's get into it. Let's start with a prayer. Oh Lord Jesus, thank you for this food and thank you for the abundance of it. And Name I prayed, amen. So imagine I'm imagine I just prayed and I'm about to get super mixy. God didn't forgive, man. But anyways, so I'm pretty sure everyone knows about the situation. How according to him he didn't shoot her. According to her, he did shoot her. Toy lanes are making Stalin. And um my opinion because it's mine to have um after i didn't stream this because i would never put a dollar in the pocket of a lady bad man but my opinion is i feel like people need to be aware of what they're doing for the media like you thought that this was a good idea and i don't know who is managing you or who is bigging you up and be like yeah yo make an album of this make an album it wasn't it that being said you'll make money because people are terrible you'll make money you will make money but you will also always be known as that guy and you don't really want to be that guy. But you clearly do. Friends. It just went downhill. Downhill. You always have the right to remain silent. Always. You don't have to say nothing so good nothing all you have to do is just let the lawyers handle that if you want to make a statement make one 
weeks ago when she accused you of, sh of shooting her. Making the album, and then it looks like you were disrespecting black women, a black woman. It looks like that. It appears so. And that you'll have problems with. Don't you see what's going on right now? Like, did you not, you know, search the room, look for the audience, know your audience? There's just no way. But if she boxes you and you box her back, okay. Because I'm a firm believer in, and not okay, but that's toxic. But if you, if I hit a man, I should intend for that man to punch me back. If I punch him, he should be punching me back. He, I should, I should expect that he's gonna punch me back. If he doesn't, well, cool. But if he does, what did you expect from punching someone in the face? Do I expect him to pull out a gun and shoot me? No, I don't. And that's crazy and wrong. So, I think that if he let it at a box for a box, people would be able to accept that more than she box you and you pull out a gun and shot her. And that's ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. But in the song, so he made an album, okay? It's like people don't know how to be rich. People don't know how to be rich. You are rich. You can get any lawyer you want. Why didn't you get your lawyer to throw out a statement that these are completely unfounded, untrue allegations and uh, accusations made against me and I would like these things thrown out and I'd cease and desist and I don't want to hear this no more. Don't. I don't want to talk about this no more. If you did not do it. You put on an album, an album taunting her. Why would you do that? Why? Talking about you were in the pool looking at, at Kylie Jenner and you, 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 were, you were liking Kylie, but you know I would have came home with you. Pardon? I'll tell you this. If this was me and I brought my man to a party, pool party, a, any kind, a gathering, a dinner, anything, from the moment me and my best friend step in there and we're sitting down and we see you look like you're veering off to talk, too close to another woman my my high beams are on i'm already starting to chip chip i'm chipping because why are you doing that if i introduced you to the host already you don't need to have any kind of one-on-one -on -one conversation with the hostess we don't we don't need to do that you're my guest do you know what happens when you're a guest you stand up one side and you stand with me. If you want to have a one-two conversation with the other men at the party, sure. But this frolicking with with the guests and <laughs> now you, look at you. Look at she let the little joke get too far, and look at what happened now. He's over here making songs about about loving, liking uh, another woman, and f knowingly flirting with the girl at the party. Meg, your heart is stronger than mine because he wouldn't have been able to put out no gun on me. And if me and my friend are there, me and my friend are going to do that cornering from the back. Pull up <laughs> underwater too. Pull underwater like sharks and pull up. And I'm taking you back down with me because I don't know what you think this is. I can't bring you nowhere. I can't bring you nowhere because you show up and show out in front of mixed company. That's wild. That is wild. That is wild. Wild. You should not be doing that. Right? And where would that ever be okay? Where would that ever be okay? Hmm? Where would that be okay? That one. I don't know about that going in the car with him. Because me and him wouldn't be leaving together. And he would not like me to meet him outside. Because if he got past the drowning that I put on him in, inside the party, outside the party, we're going to knock a few buck. However, I know going into that is if 
I hit him and he hits me back, it's a fight. It's a fair fight. You're not going to pull no gun on me because you're wrong. I don't even understand the logic of the storyline, but whatever. And the friend. What kind of friend are you? What kind of friend are you? I would never let my friend go out like that, A. And B, I would never tell my, my friend's business. She said she's going to go and tell her friend's personal business on a live. Talking about she's always drunk and all these things. Yo, you have got to be careful out here. Because you could help somebody. And you could be ride or die with somebody. And they're not ride or die with you. And that's wild to me. I would have fought the friend. I, my advice to Meg is don't say a word. Don't say nothing. You entertain the foolery, it gets worse. It's not going to get better. It's not going to get better. He's going to get aggressive. He's going to come back with some more degrading, disrespectful things. And it's just ridiculous. Um, people who have been in toxic relationships know the signs of what it was that was toxic. Like, oh, why didn't you tell nobody that we're together? What? Guys do that all the time. They don't come out and bust out who they're with. They don't do that. So she should be shot for that. He had, like, a bunch of different excuses. <laughs> he had, like, a bunch. It was like, he was real mad. He was leading up to it. Like, is that, uh, am I crazy? Like, I'm pretty sure everyone would be like, you know what? If he was talking to Kylie, he should have walked away. No, no. You're not going to disrespect me. You and Kylie ain't going to disrespect me. I'll tell you that. I will tell you that. I'm changed. I'm not that changed. We're not going to do that. Okay? We are not going to do that. I will wet my weave for you. I will wet it for you. I will swim up behind you. Because there's just no way. There's no way. I already, I already introduced you. That's it. Do you know where the washroom is? Is the only question that you should have after that and thank you for having me that's it hi do you know where the washroom is thank you for having me cooling in the pool i think not okay well my food is ice cold you guys know what that means i will not no longer speak on this <laughs> my food is cold it's done Cut the cameras. It is done. It's done. Okay. <laughs> so what do you guys think? Okay. So what do you guys think? Do you guys think that um, Tori did it? Or are you waiting to before you take sides? Um you think that he should have shot her are you of the belief well if you put your hands on me well then whatever happens to you after that happens which I was I I I am to an extent but I'm not like uh I don't really understand the point of you being angry at something that you're doing you're doing disrespectful stuff and I'm mad because you're doing disrespectful stuff your action has my reaction on Tizzy, but you can't have a higher reaction than me because I wasn't doing nothing to you. You were over here flirting and trying to get your rocks off and shoot your shot with somebody who I, I brought you to. I brought you to her. Excuse me. Like, I don't understand that. I don't really understand that. I really don't. But I would love to hear from you guys. Please tell me um, your opinions. Let's talk about this. Let's talk about this in the comment section. I think that is this is something that we do need to speak on. Like when the relationship becomes toxic and you want to leave or when the relationship becomes to the point where you are no longer interested in that person. Is it that hard to say like, yo, I think we should just be friends and that's it. Not, oh, I can't wait to get to this jam because I'm going to talk to Susie, Sheeta, and Lena all night long and I'm going to diss the girl who is supposed to be my girl. And honestly, you said, and another thing that he said was that, um, what did he say? Oh, Tori, uh, 
she didn't even want to let me my friends my her friends know that we're together thank god she didn't thank god she didn't because how stupid would she look like wouldn't you imagine you and your friend are chilling at well guys that's my opinion on the situation i hope you enjoyed this video um let me know if we should do mixy fridays again um no no it can't it's cold it's cold I'm gonna have to get a hot plate. There's just no way. <laughs> I don't have to go be warm this up. You think I'm gonna throw this out? You're mad. I'm gonna eat it. I'm gonna eat it. I'm just gonna warm it back up. But let me know if we should do another Mixy Fridays and Professional Tuesdays. Because I'm really liking how that sounds. And let me know your take on the situation. Because we all have a take on it. Like, let's not even pretend. Like, oh, I don't get involved. You do. <laughs> if Shade Room is one of your followings, you do. You get involved. You enjoy seeing it. So, I'll see you in my next video. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Share the video. Um, I hope it was entertaining. If not, I'm sorry. Okay, <laughs> bye guys.